We've all probably heard of the Superbug MRSA, but what actually is it? Find out in this Sick Notes. Hello, I'm Dr. Ed Hope and welcome to Sick Notes, where we make complicated medical language easy to understand. Today, we're talking about MRSA. MRSA is a bacteria, and if this causes an infection in the body, can be difficult to treat with antibiotics. There are millions of bacteria everywhere in our environment, on our skin, and even in our bodies. In fact, it's a lot like the force in Star Wars surrounding us, penetrating us, and binding the galaxy together. Bacteria are tiny living things made up of just one cell. Most bacteria are harmless, some are even useful to us, but unfortunately some can damage our bodies if they get into the wrong place. If this happens, we call this an infection. Infections can be caused by other things like viruses, fungus and parasites. Common sites of infection are the respiratory tract, so the throat and lungs, the urinary tract, what we call a water infection, and the tissues under the skin, what we call cellulitis. During an infection, the bacteria damage the cells of the body, leading to inflammation. That's why it becomes painful, red, hot, and swollen at the site. If your body's immune system is unable to deal with the infection, then antibiotics can help stop the bacteria growing. Unfortunately, if the bacteria continue to spread, then this can lead to an overwhelming infection, which we call sepsis which can be fatal. MRSA stands for methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, which I see you all falling asleep at, but just let me explain what that means. The Staphylococcus aureus part is just the type of bacteria. This bacteria tends to live in the throat and skin and doesn't cause us any problems unless it gets under the skin. If it does and causes an infection, we can treat it with antibiotics. However, MRSA is a strain of Staphylococcus aureus that lives on about one in 30 people. Now this is slightly different. The methicillin resistant part of it means that it's resistant to certain antibiotics. So if this strain causes an infection, it's more difficult to treat. Hence it obtaining the nickname, a superbug. Superbugs are a wider public health issue and all down to the overprescribing of antibiotics for things like simple colds. This means the bacteria get exposed to the antibiotics and therefore can evolve to deal with them. This is called antibiotic resistance. As MRSA lives on the skin in about one in 30 people and never cause a problem, we call it an opportunistic infection. Therefore, it is most likely to affect vulnerable people, particularly people in hospital. For example, in hospitals, we're doing surgical procedures where we're making incisions into the skin. We're also taking blood and putting in cannulas, which also can introduce infection under the skin. And we also sometimes need to put in a catheter, which can also introduce infection into the urinary tract. And don't forget in hospital, people are also generally unwell with multiple other illnesses. This can impact on you, particularly on the immune system, and make it more likely that an infection can occur. Therefore, if anyone comes into the hospital as an inpatient, they'll have a swab for MRSA to see if they're one of the one in 30 people that carry it on their skin. If they do, they'll have an antibacterial wash, which will reduce the numbers of the bacteria and reduce the chances of getting an infection. So I hope this has helped your understanding of what MRSA is. I've put some clarifications and some useful links in the description below. If you like this video, you can subscribe or share it. Thank you very much for watching.